If you have old prescriptions in your medicine cabinet, first responders are urging you to turn those in. And now is a great time with Saturday being National Drug Take Back Day. Caroline Peters joins us live this morning. Caroline, tell us more about why this is so important. Hey Patrick, good morning. If your cabinet looks something like this, and some of these are expired, you can drop off your expired prescriptions throughout several locations across Southern Colorado. And the last time they had National Drug Take Back Day in April, they collected over 664,000 pounds of medicine. And it might seem harmless to have old prescriptions laying around, but the point behind this is to protect children and teens from harm. I spoke with Springs Police who say that there have been several incidents where children or teens accidentally take old prescriptions. They end up in a bad situation. Turning in your old drugs can prevent this from happening. 25 years of doing this, I've seen um, numerous cases of it uh, where, you know, a kid might not even realize what it is. They just see it's a, a pill and think it might be candy. Um, it's very, very unfortunate. Take Back Drug Day also helps protect our water system and wildlife. Old medications that are flushed in the toilet or thrown away, they can contaminate our water systems and they can get to wildlife. And I'm told that there will be no questions asked about the drugs that you have the event. It won't cost you anything. It runs from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon tomorrow. Back to you. Thank you, Caroline. And there are several places you can go to take those prescription drugs back. They include the Security Fire Department, King Supers on Constitution Avenue, the Colorado Springs Police Department Operations Center that's located downtown, and Memorial Hospital North.